Twin needles or double needles are something you can use on the Singer Simple Soy Machine. I'm gonna show you a couple tricks to use, and then also we're gonna limit ourselves to just a straight stitch, maybe a little zigzag, not too much, because if your needle gets too far off to the side, it's gonna hit the foot and break. But double needles or twin needles are used for like creating that double row of stitching you see on the hem of a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. Uh, pin tucks are also done that way, and I'm gonna actually do it with two different threads so you can see what I'm doing. So I am gonna kinda of go to a middle size, a 3.0 is the dis is three millimeters across, and then that way I'm not gonna go past where my foot is. There's two millimeters would also be a good one. Four is gonna be pushing it, but it will fit on this machine. So I, by doing a 2.0, uh, excuse me, 3.0 double needle, I'm gonna go ahead and switch the needle first. I'm gonna leave one thread threaded in here already. Here we go, flat side to the back, and then make sure it gets all the way as high as it's supposed to go. You are gonna thread each needle separately. So even since this one's already down here, why don't I just go ahead, it won't matter which thread goes in which needle. We'll just go ahead and pick one. And then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Right now, there is a, vertic a, a vertical spool pin that you can purchase separately for this machine. But for today, which I don't, since I don't have one, is I'm gonna take the spool, set it right down in front of it, me, I'm gonna come up here and go over the top of the bobbin winder, then come over to where the first guide is. Now here's the thing, the machine is set to put one thread through this tension disc. What we're doing is pretty much asking it to take two. So make sure you give this thread a good pull. Remember, we've kind of talked about flossing that in there, and that should help hold it in. But we are asking it to kind of do um, two threads at once. Oh, and my presser foot was down when I threaded, so I'm gonna kind of redo that. Make sure that is up whenever you thread your machine, and then that way that thread can be accepted in there. That's why it was a little tighter than I thought it should be. There was a reason. It's amazing that, you know, if you follow just basic um, soy machine techniques, the machine will work. Good quality thread, changing your needle, cleaning it, having it serviced on a regular basis can all be things that can help make a soy machine run so much smoother. So obviously, since I've just threaded up the machine, let's go ahead and set it to maybe two and a half to three in the stitch length. Double checking that I'm on the center needle position, not the one that's off to the far right side. I would definitely break needles there. And I am gonna hand turn the first couple stitches here just to make sure everything sounds good. I can tell that the needles are not hitting anything and the thread has been properly sunk into the tension disc. Also too, I'd probably sew a little bit slower until you kind of built, built up your confidence that things are looking good. And before you know it, you're stitching with two needles. So here is a perfect way to get a twin needle look. Just put the needle in, thread with that second thread, and away you go. Now on the back, it is going to look like a zigzag stitch. Remember, you only have one bobbin, so it's kind of doing double duty as it goes. But that is how easy it is to set up and sew with a twin needle.